Hello and welcome to my ugly kitchen. I'm Ember November and today is Halloween. Happy Halloween everyone. Today I'm gonna make pumpkin bars. I really didn't want to make another baking video. That's not what this channel is supposed to be. But the truth is I've just been doing a ton of baking lately. And I said to myself, Ember November. Yeah, that's my name. You have half a can of pumpkin you need to use up. It's the end of October. You might as well milk the pumpkin for as long as you can. So come on, folks. Let's milk that pumpkin. So it's kind of funny, actually. I bought this wig for my costume last year. I went as Leela from Futurama, because we were all dressing up at work. I worked at a warehouse. That was my, actually my first day on a forklift. I had passed my forklift certification, and that day they needed me on the forklift. So my first day driving forklift, I was riding around the warehouse with this wig just that was funny. It's really hard to think that that was a full year ago, now that I think about it. It, it doesn't seem that long ago. And honestly, that year working at that warehouse, just, it, it's a blur. It just, it's a blur in my head because my husband and I were so incredibly miserable there. We pretty much drank our way through it, which is why I don't, I don't really remember that year. It's really bad. And I am so thankful we don't work there anymore and we decided to quit and walk away. I'm so thankful for that because I'm a little scared to think about what state we'd be in if we continued doing that. It can be really scary to imagine walking away from a job, especially one that entices you with benefits the longer you're in sleep there. That really is what it becomes in a lot of these jobs, I think. It's a form of slavery. They entice you just enough to stay, but you can never actually be free. I'm just thinking about some of the people we got to know there, and they've been there for years, and it actually is just heartbreaking. I don't know, I'm just a little introspective and reflecting on the past year and our time here in this apartment. I know it can be super hard for people to be able to walk away from a job, but that's where you're truly a free person. If you can walk away and they can't hold the threat of you losing your job over your head, because once that happens, you start breaking down on your standards, your, your standards on what you're, you will tolerate. The line just goes farther and farther back. But why? Because you're desperate, because you need this job and you can't walk away. What, I, it, what it seems like so many people are stuck in that situation at that place with my old co-workers I couldn't really understand it you know like we had gotten in that situation because we were doing van life and we didn't have mobile income we kept having to go to jobs and live in our van near the city which kind of defeated the purpose of why I wanted to do van life so that's that we needed to just hustle for a year and make some money and that's how we ended up there. But all these other people, I couldn't understand why they were just just happy to be working there. And I think a lot of it is just sitting back and looking at what expenses you have in your life and why. Those are where my thoughts are at lately. Are you in debt? And that's why you have to keep working at this job. If so, why are you in debt? What, what are you paying off? Did you really need that? I just, I want to think in a way that allows me to be free of these things. Like, I don't want to make choices in my life that demand that I sell my soul to a company for my whole life so that I can retire, and then that's when I'm supposed to live my life, when I can't barely move because this job has destroyed my body and my mind and my soul. When you look at the numbers, retirees only live a few short years past retirement. Do you think that's unintentional? I just don't want to live this way. And I think I'm willing to make some sacrifices in order to maintain freedom, such as giving up certain comforts in life. 
I don't know. That's just where I'm at right now. guys i hope you have a happy halloween and make some pumpkin bars it's so good